Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. This is Brian with Zimco Survival and I have a review for you guys today. This is on the UCO Grilly Put. Now, I've tried to clean it up as best I can. I didn't want a whole bunch of soot and stuff on it, but it's still discolored. But that's to be expected with any kind of grill. Um, so basically, this right here is a newer product from UCO. Now, I think it's about a year or two old. So it's not brand new. I debated a lot on whether or not I was going to purchase this item at all um, <clears throat> due to the way it functions and I will show you guys that in just a minute when I put it together because I will be demonstrating this I'll show you how to put it together and I will be cooking myself a nice play of catfish over it as well um, to show you guys how well it works but um but basically yeah this is from UCO this is their grill um, it is a camp grill it does have a nice you know place here to hang it from a carabiner um, let me go ahead and kind of tell you guys about it a little bit it is the grill itself is all inside this tube it all compresses down into the tube and um, you put it together when you want to use it now it does weigh about a pound it's not a, a light item so it's not something I'd necessarily bring you know I wouldn't really bring this if I was ultra light hiking or anything like that um, but it is nice if you're going out to, you know, just a simple place you're going to sit for a few days and fish and stuff like that. The stuff like that. This does give you a good, um, you know, a good grilling surface. It's about, when put together, it's a, it will give you a grill surface of about 10 inches by 10 inches. Um, I think it's like 10.2 or something like that. So it gives you a nice square area to, to cook with. And I was able to cook three large... Um, during my, I guess you could say, size test, I put three large chicken breasts on there. And I don't mean the small ones, I mean the big ones. And it fit comfortably on this and I was able to grill them without a problem. Um, this is stainless steel, so it will not rust. Um, there is no plastic on this whatsoever. Every single thing on here is stainless steel. So let me go ahead and pull the cap off. Right here you have your cap, you just unscrew that. And as you can see, there are no washers or anything in here. Take and you dump out your different components. Let me see if I can show this to you here. So right there, you have all your different components, okay? And this right here is going to be what you actually use to put it all together. This is the other side, as you can see. And basically, it, like I said, it's a camp grill. It's designed to be compact so that you can take it with you wherever you're going without too much of a problem. But let me go ahead and show you guys how to put this together. It should be a fairly short video. Um, it is a grill, so there isn't a whole lot to go over as far as you know specs and everything else. It's stainless steel. It gives you a grilling surface of 10 inches by 10 inches. There's your specs. Um, let's go ahead, get it set up, and I'll get the fire ready, and um, we'll go ahead and cook up some lunch. Be right back. Hello, hello, welcome back. And we're gonna go ahead and put this thing together for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It can be a little bit annoying the first couple of times, but hopefully I'll be able to show you guys the best way to do it. So basically what you have here is your, um, I don't know how to describe it. You have your <clears throat> inner tube that has the slits on it, and you have your outer tube that has the holes along the side. And inside, you're going to have three different types of rods. You're going to have this rod right here, which is just a straight rod. This is actually going to make up the majority of your grill. And then, let's see where to go. Right here, you have your other rod. This has a bent end on it and a threaded end on it. And then the third type is your foot. It's right here. Now, the difficult part of this is actually setting it up so that everything fits together without being put on backwards. And I find the best way to do that is to take your two rods, your, your two outer rods. So right there you have the screw hole for the foot. All right. So what you're going to do is take, and you see all these little holes here? Sit it on the ground with those holes facing the direction of your small rod. Your, 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 um, the other side, if you will, the one with the slits on it. <clears throat> Take those slits and point them at this direction, making sure your foot hole right here is pointed at them. Okay? It's just it's pointed up. So 
Let's see if I can show it to you here. Maybe it'll focus. So you see how that one there, this one here has the hole pointed up. And then right about there, this one here has the hole pointed up. And the slits are facing towards the holes in that one. Okay, hopefully this will make some sense here for you guys. All right. So then the next best step that you can take, in my opinion, the way I've best figured out how to put it together, is to take this rod right here with the screws on it. And there's going to be two holes on this one. You can have one that goes through here and comes out there. And right there you have your foot hole. So what I do is I slip this through first, just like that. And I screw it onto this one here. Move this away a little bit here. So I'll screw this piece together. And that just kind of starts, holds everything and makes it a lot easier for me to set up the rest of this. Now don't screw it down all the way tight. All right, you want to leave some of a gap. I screwed it down way too much. You just want to make sure they're connected so they don't come apart. Now what you're going to do is take these little rods here, the ones with nothing else on them, and you're going to start sticking them into the holes just like this, and then setting them down into these slits. And once again, I still have it too tight. There you go. And you just do that all the way down. All right, so I've got all these put together. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my second one of these, and I'm gonna screw it in through this side. Now you want these hand tight. You don't wanna wrench them down. Or you'll start to bend your, uh, the rest of it. So what we're gonna do is we're basically just gonna take and just screw it together until it's nice and hand tight. So there's that one. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Screw that together until it's hand tight. And when it's tight, you'll know because these right here aren't gonna move around. They might jiggle a little bit, but they aren't actually gonna move. They won't, you won't be able to pull them up or anything like that. So now you've got the actual rack set up. Now what you're going to do is put the feet on. Now the feet don't go all the way in. I'm going to see if I can show it to you. The feet don't go all the way in because they end up hitting that little rod right there. Um, so basically the feet just hit right there. Um, that's okay. I haven't had a problem with that. It hasn't caused any issues with the way it works. Um, it hasn't come apart on me or anything. So basically right now we're just going to go ahead and do that, get all this put back together. And then I'll go ahead and get the fire set up and we'll start grilling. Okay, but there you go. This is what you should end up with when you're completely finished. A nice large grilling surface as you can see. You know, I don't have small hands, and it gives me a good full-size surface, and it's not weak. It does hold my weight. So I really like the durability of this. I, I'm annoyed by how you put it together, but the durability is pretty good. All right, so we'll be right back. <clears throat> Wait just a minute. And we're back. 
So right here I have my little fire. I just have some um, catfish that I'm going to be cooking over here. And let me pull this away a little bit so you guys can see. So we have our little fire now. This just relit. Normally I wouldn't have it anywhere close to this high, but um, it started going out on me, so I had to add a bunch of small twigs and stuff to it. But um, so this right here, uh, I'd recommend normally cooking over coals. But like I said, I'm just I had to get this thing relit for you guys so we can keep this heat going here. Um, but this is normally going to be used over coals or really small fires, you know, not a whole lot of flame. Um, since normally when you grill, you'd grill over something like that. You wouldn't grill over a big open flame. That's where most people end up damaging their grills is um, having way too much heat on a wood fire. So in this particular instance, I just have a small little fire underneath there, nothing major. Um, and I'm trying to let it stay as coals as best I can adding just little pieces of wood here and there to uh, to keep it going but um but there you have it so basically as you can see this is a pretty decent sized catfish fillet it's not huge but it's not particularly small and you can easily fit two of these onto this rack so it does give you plenty of cooking space um, you don't have to worry about running out of room unless you're really cooking for a bunch of people um, but for two, three people, this is perfectly fine. This actually has two catfish fillets split down the middle, you know, cut down the middle. So that, this rack could cook enough for four people basically to have dinner. Um, so there you go. I'll be back when it's cooked and I'll open this thing up and I'll show it to you guys and uh, I'll go ahead and have some lunch. We'll be right back. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we're done. Let's go ahead and open this up. There we are. Lunch. So let's go ahead and go back to the chair over there. And um, we'll finish up this review. Be right back. And welcome back. Now, still a little bit hot for me to put away. But as you can see, no bending, no warping. Everything looks nice and straight. Um, I like it. Uh, it is, it's not something I bring with me all the time. It's something I bring with me if I know I'm going out with me and myself, my wife, a couple of friends or something. And we're just going to be sitting at one camp doing fishing, stuff like that. I'll go ahead and bring that just in case we catch something so we can go ahead and cook it up more easily. But, um, as far as like a regular addition to my kit, it's not really a regular addition. Uh, it's, it's a little bit heavy, and it's surprisingly heavy. Uh, based on its size, you wouldn't think it, but when you actually get it in your hand, that thing feels like it weighs a ton. Um, <clears throat> so not an ultralight, ultralight item. It's more something that you'd bring. Like I said, if you're going to a place, you're going to be doing some fish, and you want to make sure you have something to cook it with. It's, it's more something along those lines. Um, but as far as being compact, it is compact. It is easy to, to carry with you. It's not this bulky grill that you've got to find a place for. Um, so it does have a place. It is certainly an upgrade over the older camp grills. Um, <clears throat> it is a pain to put together the first few times. After you put it together and you kind of know what you're doing, um, it becomes a lot easier. But the first couple of times, it, it, it's a little annoying. Um, so it's one of those things I take it out when I get there, I set it up, and then I take it apart when I leave. I don't put it together, take it apart, put it together, take it apart. I take it, put it together the first time, leave it that way until I leave. Um, so there you go, that's the review. It is a good piece of equipment. It is certainly better than um, what you would find from a normal, you know, camp cook, you know, camp grill. It's certainly a major upgrade over those. But it's gonna get, a four out of five for me and the reason I give it four out of five is I wish it were um, a little easier to put together a little less finicky but otherwise it's a great little piece of equipment I do recommend you guys pick one up there will be an affiliate link in the description as always 
So thank you guys for watching and do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So go ahead and do that now. Like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye.